All right, so what I've got here today is a 47RE. This must be a very early 47RE because it doesn't have the electric motor. This transmission is here because it doesn't have reverse. Zero reverse. It's got a good charred smell to it. So he tried to back something up an extremely steep hill. Should have put it in like four wheel low or something. But who knows the condition of the transmission to start with. So we're going to crack into this thing today. Like I say, it's supposed to be a 48RE, but it still has the TV cable. No reverse is the complaint. Hopefully this video will help some people who are slightly intimidated by automatics or tearing down automatic. 47RE, 48RE, all but identical. 48 has more line pressure, better boost pressure. 48 has an extra clutch in direct third gear. 48 has steel planetaries in the back over aluminum, like the 47. This is basically a 727 torque flight with an overdrive. We'll get the kick down lever off. Hopefully the camera angle's good. Got a GoPro above head. We'll see if I see. Hopefully it makes a good video. Hopefully good enough for maybe somebody else to subscribe, watch. All right, so I'm gonna start with my kick down lever or my second gear band. Mm, that's tight. Kick down. Kick down band, second gear band, adjusting nut. I think I will pull some of the test ports. So when we wash it, we get our every, everything we can out and clean. <clears throat> like I say, this one does not have reverse. Fluid is black. I am willing to bet that the clutch is here in the very rear section in the overdrive section, I'm willing to bet they're toast. Torch 25 here in the back over your rear bearing snap ring. It's pretty nasty. Thing was also leaking here at the back. Whoever installed it didn't have these bolts tight on the transfer case, so they have rubbed. Hopefully didn't put a groove in there. Let's sit here and Sit there and rubbed on each other, Sh vibrating. Three, let's see, seven sixteenths holds the extension housing on.
Go hang on to two of these bolts. To use as a pump puller. So this is your overdrive housing, overdrive piston, it's gonna get totally rebuilt, so go ahead and take the seals, trash them, keep up with your selective washer. I say I guarantee you back here is where things went wrong first thing I see is whoever put it together put the clutches in upside down huh. take it back they did not did not did not See black and blue already right there. Yep, I guarantee you the problem is in this back set of clutches. We'll have to press that apart. That is your rear tail housing. Set of clutches in there. Yeah, boy. You can already see it already. Black and blue. Black and blue. Yep. So, that's why it doesn't have reverse. But while we got the camera rolling, cut everything here, we're going to go ahead and disassemble it just to show others what's inside here how to disassemble right quick. Three eighths back here. Thirteens in the front. It is 48 with the, it's got the ceiling ring on the stator shaft. So it looks to be a very early 48. Oh, I was saying earlier, take two of these bolts, stick in the front of the pump. Don't grab me a crowbar. That's my pump puller. Redneck pump puller, that's what I got, that's what I've done, that's what I use. Walk over here and get me a bar. Two of the overhousing bolt, over drive housing bolts and a bar. Stuck in the pump. Pump me right out. Pump apart right quick. 
six half inch bolts. Forty-eight has this ring here. Forty-seven does not. Everything looks all right. Pushing looks. All right. We'll knock this seal out. Knock this pushing out. All of that will be replaced. Puppy ceiling rings all. Keep up with your selective pump washer. More likely will go thicker to tighten up in play. Yucky. Thirteen's on thirteen's on the pain. It is disgusting. Somebody put a pan drain in, which is nice, but they got it straight on the bottom. Doesn't set on the transmission jack too well. A nasty sucker. Oh, yeah, she black. Ugh. Look, 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 look. And you can see the thing won't drain very well. Plug is already raised up. Pull the valve body right quick. Disgusting. Seven sixteenths on the valve body. Ten bolts, three across the front, three across the back, four on the governor. Man, normally I'd had a radio kicking, but you know. Can't do that on YouTube. If you got the radio playing in the background. All right, so there's a valve body. Somebody has put a, looks like a Sonics. Uh, Sonics uh, second gear accumulator. Everything else is still stock. 
way. Second gear band. Does not look bad. Input shaft. Here's our high gear clutches, direct. My God, it's got a thick plate in there. And it's still only running four clutches. Uh, we'll put a thin plate back in. We'll get five clutches. So. Still four clutches in the forward. Thrust washers. Let's see what the third gear. Plus I'll go back with a solid snap ring, not this wavy cushion. Do away with that. Get a little better shift. shift out of it man look how thick that is normally they're 285 that looks about like 400 thousandths clutches are a little dark don't see any black don't see any purple blue don't see any heat one two three four that's wild that's the first one i've seen like that in a 48 but the drum looks like it's set up to hold the five clutches Oh yeah, low gear looks good. First gear, this is your first gear forward. Looks good. This thing here looks good. Go ahead and pull this apart. Pull the piston out. Things. I always check make sure these are tight as far as the splines from input to hub. Pull this apart here. Throw these away. Toss those, they're nice and brittle. He got it extremely hot, it stinks. Pull these ceiling rings off. trash pull out the intermediate it does have the steel we have some something's been rubbing here go have to look into that has the steel planetary here in the back Just look at everything really good. These had some trouble.
because they had these holes drilled in here and they sling fluid out. This back here would get a lot of wear. Or the 47, this rear piece here was solid. Did run aluminum set of planetaries. This is steel. Like I say, got some rubbing going on here. All the washers look good. Planetaries, no side to side. Check your planetaries. Yeah. All right. So. Pull this rear drum out right quick. I'll have to go up front, press this overdrive section <coughs> apart, and um, show you those burnt clutches here in a minute. That way you can see why it did not have reverse. Maybe title this video as 4740RE No Reverse. Your low drum looks fine. Reverse band, low band. Good shape, no heat. Get out the roller clutch without it turning into a bomb. Come here, baby. Thing, if you ain't careful, it'll take off every which way. Ching, ching, bing, boom. All right, so. Like I say, the only thing that really looks changed is that. I'll tear the valve body down, see if there's any pressure springs changed or any holes drilled for a little better shift. Might be a little scarring on this right here. Yeah. These are bad about getting scarred. And his, the return line coming from the cooler, because in the back of the case, oils all of this this is where your oil comes into this here not your pressure side for overdrive but this is lubed by the return line of the cooler and you can see it's it's pretty gnarly all right so Let's reverse. Some good looking stuff, huh? Smells good too. That's all your reverse action. Still got the 5 -oh lever. Come on. There we go. Let's 
pretty nice Sega Gear accumulator. It's got one of your blue cut rings, but also a O-ring, a solid O-ring. That's why they're tough to come out. The blue cut O-ring, the blue cut seal doesn't do anything until it gets pressure to expand. The O-ring seals all the time. Now for the second gear. Second gear servo. I normally have a I normally have a C clip and a socket to where I don't have to hold down on it. Not today. But a six inch C clip works really good because you can squeeze down on it, keep spring pressure off. But, like I say, not today. Then you have to watch it because when it jumps, it will get shit all over you. There's a spring behind there. Cool. And that's just your factory stuff you can get billet accumulators billet servos this is a servo for second pretty well a stocker all right that's all of that we'll let it sit here and drain i'll run up front press that overdrive section apart bring the clutches back let you see what they look like Because they toast. And that sucker has gotten hot. Gets hot like that, it loses all its appliability, I guess would be the word. It's not very pliable. It won't seal very well, get hard as a brick. Then they leak. But anyway, 48 RE, no reverse. We will go press apart the overdrive it's got a spring in it that's like 800 pounds so i have to stick it in the press push it apart i'll run back here show it to you i built this table a couple years ago love it everything runs back Runs over in a five gallon bucket. Just don't forget to empty the five gallon bucket about every three transmissions. And you're good to go. All right, be right back. Try to keep my shirt clean. press the part right quick but we can already see all this right here dead dead indication of what's going on oh she's black all the way she's toast all the way around here but when overdrive is applied it pushes these clutches off when it's not applied the spring is pushing up on the these clutches here which give you your reverse out the back there's a one-way roller in here. And um, when you're going forward, the one-way roller is keeping you going. But when it comes time to back up, one-way roller will not hold. The clutches have to hold. And as you can see, they're smoked. And normally this ring will break in four or five places. And you'll find it in the pan when you service a 47 or a 48 RE. All right, be right back. All right, so back from the press. So, as you can see, got lots of black and blue. And as I was saying earlier, there's a one-way roller clutch in the bottom that locks where you're in overdrive, or locks in all the gears going forward. When it's time to go reverse, it free spins and these clutches, their job is to give you reverse. 
that's even black and blue sounds gritty but here is the whole reason no reverse you can see this top pressure plate is black and blue i mean this is a toasty mess and these are they're smoked not only are they smoked you can see a lot of them are cleaned off on both sides that should be a friction like this with material on both sides breaking material breaking friction and all you have now is a warped severely heated piece of steel from slipping just if it won't go don't make it if you do make it you go and break it it's gonna cost more money yeah, and see i don't want yeah look at that all right that's the reason we got no reverse 48 re no reverse hopefully that helps somebody maybe i'll make a video of putting it together it takes me several hours to put it together it takes me a couple hours to get it all clean but uh 48 re no reverse would be the same case in a 47 re thanks for watching <laughs>